Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, today, you guys, this is gonna be my first video of the year, 2020. And uh, it's not gonna be about food. It's not gonna be about anything like that. It's gonna be about a story. I wanna talk to you guys about something that happened to me a couple of days ago. Uh, well, I went to go visit my mom in, uh, I think she still lives in Ben Harbor, Michigan. Um, I was kind of like in an accident. And by kind of is because I'm still here, still breathing. Um, I just want to talk about it because it's something that hit me real hard. And I've been thinking about it ever since it happened, ever since I went through it. It's hard to, it's hard to go through life knowing that you have that in your chest because I've been carrying with that. I know it's just been days, but it's been hectic for me. Just the thought that I was gonna lose, well, not me, but my family was gonna lose my mom, a daughter, my brothers, they were gonna lose a sister and a nephew, a grandson. Because in this accident, you guys, it was myself and my younger son. And it was in Coloma, the accident. I was driving home from my mom's house and um, there was this pile of snow on the side of the road, but that pile of the road, that pile of snow that was on the road was partial was on the road and the big pile was like on the side of the road and there was this com car coming towards my way and if that car wasn't come wouldn't have come through my way I could have just gone through that side of the road because that side of the road was clean you know so I had to go as slow as possible but I was feeling the you know the wheel kind of weird, like sliding everything. And it was scaring me, but I didn't want to show my son that, you know? Then I started feeling like it was sliding more and more. So I couldn't take control of it. So what I did was I took my feet off the gas and just held on to the wheel. And we started spinning like fast, you know? Um, it was very scary while we were spinning because at the same time that it was spinning, a lot of snow was was thrown at us, you know, because of the impact. So I, I, all I heard was the snow hitting the windshield, hitting my truck. I mean, like scary, like the scary sounds. I mean, it's like strong. And my first thought was my son. And I was like, oh my God, I don't want anything to happen to him. My thoughts, I was, I mean, you guys have to, you know, at least think about it and you know what would you think what would be your last thoughts when something like that is happening when you're spinning and you're technically going under snow because that's how much snow is like falling on top of you on the vehicle technically I feel like we were just like a snowball because that's how deep well kind of the thought of us spinning real fast I was looking at my son and my son was, he was like nothing, you know? My son is so strong. He has been through a lot in life. And above all that, it's like all of that made him strong. He's a strong man. And I'm so happy and so proud that, you know? <laughs> but what got to me was that well, I, we were going through these spins, I mean, hardcore spins. Um, I was looking at him because I, I, my last image that I wanted to go with was my son's image, you know, because he was with me. And um, he was like nothing. He was still eating because <laughs> when we were at my mom's house, they had these 
ribs that my brother had cooked for New Year's. They were leftovers and I heated them up so me and him could eat them on the road coming home. And he was eating the ribs, like <laughs> not realizing what was going on. All I heard him say was, mom, like freaked out. But at the same time, he was being strong. I don't know if he was being strong for me or I don't know. And I'm over here freaking out. I'm like, oh my God, my baby. And we're not talking about a little kid. We're talking about a grown man. But still, he's my baby. He's my baby. And I just wanted his image to be, I just wanted to leave with his image. And for some reason, I felt like, well, we were spinning real fast, you know. I felt like something stopped us. And just literally, I mean, the truck was supposed to be like, flipping over because it felt like that at the beginning that my truck was gonna flip over and we were just gonna God knows die maybe I don't know it's scary to even say it you know I just thank my Lord Jesus that I'm still alive and my son we're both breathing and we're the, both okay I mean you cannot imagine what went through my mind the whole time we were spinning. You just can't. And my thoughts were, I don't wanna die. I don't want my son to die. I don't know how many spins we made, but instead of the truck flipping over, I felt it like somebody grabbed it and just stopped us from you know, spinning. And when, by the time I knew it, it was like, I kind of paused for a second and looked at my son if he was okay. And he was still eating. <laughs> I mean, he was still eating and he was just being himself. He was and I was like, are you okay? He's like, yeah, are you? <laughs> I'm like, yeah. I'm like, what, were you, what was going through your head while that was happening? He's like, Mom, I'm ready. If anything would have happened, I'm with you. I'm just ready. I'm like, are you serious? I mean, the thought that your own kid would tell you he's ready to die. He's willing to go anytime. I mean, what parent wants to hear that? Inside my heart, I was crying, like screaming loud because I couldn't understand. If it wasn't because of my son that was with me, I don't think I would have been here right now. But because he was with me, I made myself strong and I tried to control the wheel some type of way and I prayed at the same time. And with the grace of God, I felt like it was his hand that took over the tr my truck and stopped it from spinning. Hey, it's trash time. And, um... Sorry about that. Um, we just, we just stopped spinning and I just took a deep breath and it took me a while to get out of that pile of snow because I mean, the pile of snow was high, you know? And I got out, I finally got out I drove home, but I don't know how I did it because I felt like my body was stiff. I, I feel like somebody took the wheels. I feel like it's like God took the wheels and took me, took me and my son home. Once I got home, I felt so tense, more tense and everything. I just thank God. Ever since, it's like, if you got, guys have ever gone through something like this, and I don't know what went through your mind, but my mind, to be honest with you guys, I would not take life for granted because if God gave me and my son another chance in life, I'm going to live it to the fullest and love hard because I wouldn't want to cause my family any pain or my kids, my grandkids.
My grandkids are so, so close to me. And I love them. And I love them so, so much. But the thought of my mom losing a daughter, because she lost a son, too, back in 94. And she went through hell. I mean, she went through so much. It's like she says, the thought of losing a son is so hard. And she suffered, cried. And now the thought of losing a daughter, I wouldn't want to cause her that pain. Or my brothers, I have two brothers here in Michigan. And I love them so, so much. They're everything to me because they're my baby brothers, you know. I got four kids. I had one with me and I had three. Two at home and one with her baby daddy. I say that because they're not married. <laughs> but, you know, technically her husband. My sister, I wouldn't want her to call her that. I love her so much. But I'll tell you this, it did cross my mind at the one we were spinning that I, was, I wasn't gonna make it. I should thank God that I did. I love my sister, my mom, my brothers. You know. All my family. And I thank God and when stuff like this ever happens, don't take life for granted. When God gives you a chance in life, do the right thing. Do life right, you know. Think about the wrong things you did and God giving you another chance. Make it right. That's my message. Make it right. Love hard. Love your kids. Hold on to them. Hold on to your mom. Your brothers, your sisters, grandma, all your family. Don't take life for granted. It's hard. But because of what I went through, it made me realize that I have it good. I have good kids, a loving mom, brothers, a sister. And I'm not gonna take my family, my kids, my grandkids for, for granted. I just wanted to share that with you guys, that life is too short. Take advantage, live life to the fullest. Love because there's no time for hate. There's no time for jealousy. There's no time for revenge. There's no time for none of that. Just think about all the good things in life and take advantage of it. You never know when it's gonna be taken away. So, with that being said, I'm gonna close this video because it's almost time to clock out <laughs> at work. Uh, but yes, I went through a scare, so I'm sharing this with you guys. Technically, you guys are like my family now. Just because you've been there for me since day one. I love you guys so, so much. And for those of you that are new to my channel, don't be afraid to hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell notification to be notified for a new video. Just to be notified when a new video is up and loaded. And don't forget to like, comment, and share this video with anybody you know and i'll see you guys next time i love you guys bye